Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's me again, Jen. Hello! And it is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everyone. I hope your week is going well, and I hope that the rest of the week goes easy for you and that you've made it this far without too much trouble. We are working with the Housewives Tarot that is a lovely, kitschy little tarot deck that is created by Paul Keppel and Jude Buffum. And they've been a lot of fun to read, and I'm enjoying them so very much. I'm super grateful to my dear friend and podcast co-host, Mary, who suggested that I get these, and it's the best money I think I've ever spent in a really long time. And if you're interested in knowing more about the crazy stuff that Mary and I do, check out Casey and the Cover podcast. The link is in the description. And we talk about books and book covers and all that kind of crazy stuff. And... We will be maybe talking about tarot cards and these cards in particular just because she is the one that recommended them to me. So, without further ado, let's see what card we have for this Wednesday. Oh, okay. Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups usually is depicted by someone kind of standing uh, on like a hillside. Maybe there's some water involved there. And at least three of the cups are tipped and two of them are kind of up and away and you can't really see what's in them, but they're still upright. In this case, all the cups are glass, so we can see what's in them. We can also see that what is not in them and is possibly on our hostess here. Before I get too much into that, I do want to point out that I'm really enjoying that these cards are so bright and vibrant, especially the trim on the outside edge. It's very clear that it says Five of Cups on there. Easy to read. Love that. Even though the font that says Five is a little bit weird, it's still easy to read if you're looking directly at the card. And Cups is super clear on there. Also, they are trimmed in blue. All the cups are trimmed in blue, which elementally, blue represents water and cups represent water. So if you were kind of hemming and hawing on what are cups and what do they represent? Water represents emotion and fluidity and all of these kinds of things. And it's very clear you've got the blue trim on there. The only ones that are a little messed up are the swords and the wands, but I really like that the cups are, are the way they are. So this one seems to be holding true to the traditional style of the card, which is we have a character who sees three cups that are spilt and two that remain full. Five of Cups is really about recognizing what you still have left. Yeah, things are kind of a wreck and maybe you lost a little bit and maybe you didn't plan on spending that kind of money or you didn't plan on things going the way they did, but you're salvaging it. You're making the best of the situation. As long as you don't get stuck in the circle of, oh, woe is me, I messed this up and this is awful. I think this is kind of a good Wednesday card because in the middle of the week, sometimes we're kind of reassessing what we did in the first half of the week and then going, ah, um, well, maybe, but we can always salvage it. And if not, hey, Friday's coming and it's fine and we'll have the weekend and we'll start over on Monday. It's all good. So what I like about this one is that you can see that the three cups are dumped. What I don't really like is that you can still see what's in the other two because to me, part of the interesting aspect of the Five of Cups is that you don't know what to expect in those other two cups. You kind of have to have a little faith. You don't you don't really know, like, oh, is that maybe not the drink that I had in these other two or three? But, but we know that it is. So it kind of takes that have faith and move forward aspect out of the Five of Cups. It also is taking away some of it because usually... The other two cups are represented kind of higher up as if, yes, you need to strive for this. This may be where you were and it was stable and it was ground level, but things are bad and you need to climb. You need to get to high ground kind of thing. You got to learn and you got to learn from your mistakes and, and grow and go up another step. And all of that stuff is typically represented in a, in a normal five of cups card. Whereas in this one, everything's kind of all on the same level. And so it, I don't feel that you got to grow, you got to step up, and you've got to have faith in this. But it still has a lot of the same energy to it. I do like that she's kind of holding out her dress and her hair like, oh my gosh, I'm soaked. What do I do? And in some ways, you make the best of it, you know? So that's, that's kind of where we're at with the Five of Cups, especially on a Wednesday. 
I'm going to flip through our little handy dandy instruction booklet that this comes with and see if maybe there's a little more insight, but I don't think there will be. I think that's a, probably about the most we're going to get out of that one. Also, in the picture for this one, she's not even in there, just the cups. But anyway, so loss, closure, and sometimes pessimism. Absolutely, yes. The closure of, yep, you lost some of this stuff, but you got to move on. So this is a pessimistic housewife who's despairing over the spilled glasses, ravishing her new carpet. So she fails to see the two that still remain. And see, again, I really think that this deck is leaning hard into the like negative aspect of these cards, the inverted aspect. But that said, at least it kind of does help you out with that. So maybe it just is saying, you know, nothing was ever perfect back in the good old days that we like to talk about of the 1950s and 60s. Everything was so kitschy and perfect and lovely, and no, it wasn't. Anyway, without, without holding you up any longer, I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!